Hi, welcome to our quick yoga stretching for runners. As much as we would all love to do an hour of yoga a day, a lot of times we are short on time. And so I'm just going to do a quick 10 minutes or less little video on the best stretching we can do for running. Um, knowing that mobility or the stretching with movement is one of the best things that we can do to increase our flexibility rather than just straight holds. So we'll do some movements between. We're only gonna hold about 30 seconds each. If you have more time, you can hold longer and just do pauses. Um, but about 10 minutes should be really great for us on a daily basis, whether you're coming in from a Kaya workout or a run. So if you're not warmed up yet, make sure you go through your sun salutations. So do sun A's and sun B's. There's another video on that. If you need guidance to that, do that for about five or 10 minutes before you start stretching. One of our most common injuries is stretching before we are warmed up and adequately ready to do so. We get little micro tears, whether we realize it or not. So we're going to start in a down dog position. So I'll get us started. We're going to start in a down dog position. So you're going to put your hands down, feet back, pull your belly button in towards your, towards your spine. So inhale, pulling your belly button in, really gripping the, your hands into the ground. We're going to hold here for just another 15 seconds. So wherever your feet need to be about hip width apart, the distance between your hands and your feet is up to you. Softening your knees so you're not straight in those knees because that puts a lot of pressure on our hamstrings. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift our right leg up towards the sky. So right leg up and then we're going to plant it down between our hands. So go ahead and release that back knee down. We're going to take our right hand since our right foot is forward and we're just going to reach our right hand up towards the sky. So we're getting a big deep stretch. Stay here as I, as I talk. Big deep stretch in our hips. Big stretch through our spine. Also stretch through our arms as we're reaching our right arm and left hand away from each other as far as they can. We're going to go ahead and set our hand down. Send that foot back. Inhale up. Lift up your left leg. Bring it up, set it down, same thing, drop that back knee. This time, left hand is gonna go up, big reach towards the sky, sinking in your hips, really pressing your hips, never letting your knee come in front of your ankle. Big twist in those hips. We're gonna hold here for about another five seconds. Big reach, big twist, big opposing reach of those arms. Go ahead and set that hand down. We're gonna set that foot back, come back into that down dog position. Again, lift with that right leg, bring it up. This time we're gonna stay up and we're just gonna come up and bring our arms up. So we're just getting deep here. Keep your arms up. I'm just trying to show you the deep hips and then trying to square our hips up. So our left hip and right hip are working towards being parallel with each other. In five more seconds, we'll go to that second side. Three, two, and set that down. Bring it back, back into that down dog position. Again, reaching that left leg up, bring it down, set it down, big inhale up, and big sinking in those hips. So we're just opening up the hips, squaring now. Our right hip is fighting to push forward, so it's in line with our left hip. Arms are up, big opening in those hips. Again, knee stays behind that ankle. Big reach, you can either soften that back knee or extend it out if it feels better, it can be on the ground. We're gonna set our hands down. We're gonna go back to that starting position. We're gonna bring our right leg back up, bring it down, and then we're going to inhale, bring that right arm up. We're gonna set that back knee down and we're just gonna reach for that back leg. So pulling that towards, if you can reach it, great. If you can't, just reach towards it. If you grab a hold of it, you can bring it into your glute. Pulling that in, same thing with that knee, and then we're gonna to go to that second side. So bringing it back, back into down dog position, left leg up, left leg down, set it down, reach back, see if you can grab that foot. If you grab it, great. If not, nobody cares. It's just getting as close as we can, pulling it up. So now we're bringing the stretch into the quad or the front of that back leg. Still stretching deep here in our hamstring of our front leg, but now bringing that stretch mostly to the top of that back leg. And then release down. We're gonna go all the way back into that down dog position for a big deep breath. Right leg's gonna come up, plant it down. Now we're gonna come into a straight leg. So straighten that front leg up, release down into that straightened front leg. You can shorten up your step if that feels better for you. 
This should be a really deep stretch up the back of that front leg. Soften your knee as much as you need to. Work towards getting it straight. Getting your top of your head as close to your toes as you can. Big breaths. We're going to go to the second side. Bend that knee. Bring it back. Back into down dog position. Left leg up. Bring it up. Straighten that leg. Fold over that front leg. Again, softening your knee. I have a little bit of a hamstring pull on this side. It's just more sensitive, so I just try to keep my left leg. I would just soft, go softer than my knee on this side. Exhaling down, inhaling, big breaths. Exhaling down. Ah, okay, back to that first side. Inhale up, back to that down dog position. Right leg up, bring it down. Straighten in that leg. Now we're gonna grab our right hand, grabs our right foot, and we reach up. So opposite arm is reaching. We're getting as tall as we possibly can. We can be here on our shin. We can be on the ground. You can grab onto that big toe, whatever feels good for you. Big breaths. Both legs are straight now. And exhale down. We're gonna go back into down dog position between each one. Left leg up, plant it down. Straighten that leg. Grab that left big toe. Hand on your shin, hand on the ground, wherever it feels good for you and big reach up. Reaching, 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 big opposing arms, big deep breaths. One more big breath. Exhale and release. Send it back, all the way back into that down dog. Let's take a couple big breaths in this down dog position. Remember, every inhale is our belly button's pulling up. Every exhale, our heels are getting to release towards the ground. Our head is here. I'm just looking at you here, pressing the heels back, pulling the belly button up, digging into the hands, and then we're just going to tiptoe our toes up to our hands. So bringing our hands and our feet together, we're gonna to soften in our knees, we're going to use our peace fingers to grab onto our big toes, bending your knees as much as you need to, and then pull yourself towards, pull your chest towards your thighs. And then here, it's just gonna depend on what feels good for you. You can straighten your legs and drive your elbows back wherever you wanna be here. The bend in your knees is completely up to you, but using your arm muscles to get you a little deeper than, you, than gravity would normally get you to go. Big deep breath. And now we're just gonna do one big inhale up, and then we're gonna exhale right back down, and we're gonna reach up behind, so reach our arms back towards each other. So if your arms are here, that's great. We're just getting a little bit more gravity on our side and we're stretching in our shoulders. If you can interlace those hands back there and you wanna pull those over, that's great, but they definitely don't have to be touching if it doesn't feel good for you. And again, the bend of your knees is up to you. Whatever feels good for you, this can be a big, deep shoulder stretch, big, deep chest stretch. Take a few more big breaths here. <sighs> One more big breath. And then we're gonna go back into that down dog position. So release your hands down, step your feet back, right back to that down dog position. We're gonna go right leg lifts, left leg is gonna, right leg lifts, right leg is gonna come back down and around. We're gonna set our foot down. So our right foot is by our left hand, our right knee is by our right hand, and then we release down into a half pigeon. So our front leg is working towards being parallel with the front of our mat, but whatever feels good for you, remember stretching should always feel amazing. If it's really uncomfortable, really painful, you're going too far and your body's gonna resist and your flexibility won't increase. So make sure it feels good. Big breaths, you can release down if that feels better for you. You can come all the way down to your chest if that feels better for you. <sighs> Big releasing breaths. One more big breath and release back up onto those hands. Come back into that down dog position. Let's take three big full breaths in our down dog position. Three big breaths. One more big breath and left leg up. So left leg comes up. We're going to bring our left foot towards our right hand and then bring our left knee towards our left hand and then release down again. So the top of that back foot releases down. You can stay here, stay upright if that feels better for you. You can go down to your elbows or you can come all the way down. And again, this foot, the angle of this, this front shin is working towards the front of our mat, 
but wherever feels good for you. So releasing down, we got about 10 more seconds of big breaths. We just have about two more stretches. Time's flying. Big, full breaths and release. Last big, big stretch. Exhale back. Inhale, belly button in. Exhale, heels release down. Next inhale, we're gonna lift our right leg up. Exhale, plant your foot between your hands. We're gonna release that back knee down, top of that back foot, and we're gonna straighten in the front leg. So this is again a big, deep stretch of the back of that leg. If it feels good for you, you can slide your foot out and come into a deeper split, but stay where it feels good for you. Let's just take a few more breaths here. More likely we're gonna be here with our hips nice and square and then folding over that foot as much as feels good for you. One more big deep breath. And then we're gonna release it. We're gonna come all the way back into that down dog position again, belly button in, heels down, inhale, left leg up. Plant that left foot between those hands, release that back knee, top of the back foot, straighten in that front leg. And then again, square in your hips. You can just fold from here or you can slide that front leg out and come into a deeper split. So find what feels good for you. Melting over that front leg, keeping that leg straight so you can come out of it as much as you need to for it to feel good for you. Or you can fold in as much as feels good for you. If you flex your toes back, it makes it a much deeper stretch. Last big breath. And release, we're gonna bring it all the way back. Last big down dog. Can you believe it's already been like 10 minutes? Crazy. Time flies when you're having fun. We're gonna release our knees down. Last stretch because I think this is one of my favorites of all time. We're gonna release back, come onto our back. Last big stretch for this to be a 10 minute stretch for us. We're gonna come on back. You can do a couple rock and rolls, a free massage for you. And then we're gonna open up our legs. We're gonna grab the outsides of our feet and we're gonna do our happy baby. So our happy baby, if we pull our knees down and apart, then we get a nice big deep hip stretch. And then you can rock and roll and massage your spine and know that you've done a lot to take care of your body today. You stretch your whole body head to toe in just that short little 10 minute spurt. So play this anytime you come in from a workout. Um, you can get it down to routine. You can take notes and then you'll be able to do it on your own. Um, but try to get at least that 10 minutes of stretching in every time you give your body some love and you work out. Love you guys. I'll see you for the next stretching video. Mwah.